What's up, lovers? It's me again, Irene, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm inside my kitchen again. It's another vlog because today we're showing you guys easy instant ramen noodles upgrade. Ito yung mga mabibilis lang gawin, and the ingredients can be found inside your kitchen also. And masasarap yung mga instant noodles nyo. So, unlike before, na hot water lang ilalagay nyo ngayon, may mga varieties tayo. And of course, I am with my boyfriend, Maggie. Kailangan ko ng guide para sa mga ganito. But I promise you guys, it's gonna be super super easy and super yummy. So before we start, you know what to do. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and let's go. Guide lang ah. Guide lang ang usapan natin dito. Uy, grabe siya. Hindi, tutulungan niya ako. So today we're doing two types of ramen. Well, actually, it's the same type of ramen cooked two different ways. We're gonna yes. be using Shin Ramen, which is a Korean brand. So one of our favorites. Super set up, guys. And we'll do like saucy version and then we'll also do something with a soup. Probably the saucy one. The saucy one. Mm -hmm. So okay. saucy ako. Ah. Okay. So for the saucy <laughs> one. Ako <laughs> so for the saucy one, we're using a pan. Instead of a pot, we will be needing, of course, our ramyun, egg, slice of cheese, some green onions. Chili, kung gusto niyo pang mas maanghang. And. Water. So you need to boil the water first. Yeah. For the saucy version, instead of putting a lot of liquid into it, para lang magkaroon tayo ng sauce, we're using siguro half the amount of water that you'd usually use. So ito siya, intayin natin siyang kumulo. While waiting for the water to boil, ideally you'll prep all the ingredients already para halo pa ng halo. Because as you all know, like instant ramen is cooked in like eight to five minutes. Five minutes medyo soft na yung noodles mo na. Just a quick tip: if you're adding egg and you're not confident with your skill in cracking an egg, so we're gonna crack the egg into a bowl. Okay, kaya kaya ko yan. To crack an egg, you need the flat surface, so you'll crack it there. Go, come on, and then. Galing, di ko na pala kailangan turuan. Of course. Look at you, you expert <laughs> egg cracker. Well. Galing, 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 galing. I must say, I was quite impressed. So, okay, kumukulo na yung water natin, no? Yes. And our next step would be to add our shin ramen. Ganyan ba dapat talaga siya ka super nagbo-boil? Yeah. Or hihinaan pa natin siya? No, that's fine. Are you ready? Okay, go add it. Yan lang natin siyang maluto dyan. As the recipe stated, we're gonna use half of the, the powder. powder. Pero para lang hindi siya super salty. And this recipe actually came from a comic book daw. But di na sure if fiction or hindi. But you know, it tastes good. So we're gonna do it. Half lang. So it depends actually on how spicy you want your sauce to be. So ito full, no? Yeah. So the reason why we're only adding half is because yung quantity niya is really meant for soups. But since we're not doing a soup version, we're gonna use less of the seasoning. So we're mixing the ramen now. Probably around a minute and a half na. Make sure all the flavors are mixed. So whenever kasi you cook noodles like that, usually the starch from the noodles thickens the sauce. So lalapot pa talaga yung sauce niya. So yeah, nakikita na natin na kumukunti na yung water. Na-absorb na siya ng noodles. Next is you add the egg. And then we add some cheese on the side. Bakit hindi siya magkatab? Kasi tasa gilid yung egg. Dapat nasa gitna yung egg tapos yung cheese sa gilid. But you know what? It's okay. And then some green onions. Na yeah, we'll just let it cook and steam for a bit. Yeah. So the reason why we're putting a cover is so that the egg can be cooked. So lahat ng steam na akit tas maliluto yung egg sa taas. And para mag melt din yung cheese. Makita niyo siya later. Ooh. 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 Nasa pa ka po ng kamay. Yan yung pinaka basic, but you can still put other ingredients on top also, like sesame oil. You can drizzle it on top. It will mm. add a lot of like that Asian flavor you are looking for. Optional 
din if you want me para mas mabusog ka, right? Yep. Pwede you can actually add meat. like mga spam cubes, you can add mm -hmm. bacon. Any topping of your choice. But for us now, we're good with this. Kaya ko pa siyang mas maanghang, pero kasi sobrang hili ko sa spicy food. But the taste already has a kick. I love it. Mmm. Nakadagdag talaga sa flavor yung cheese. Anghang? Uh, I think you can add a lot of things to this dish. If you wanna add uh, mushrooms, do so. It's perfect niya for merienda, but if you want to be a little bit fuller, I would put veggies there. Carrots. Added the egg, we added some sesame oil, which I think added a lot of flavor to it also. Totoo. Um, yung sesame oil. Okay, let's move on to dish number two. Wow, dish talaga. <laughs> Instant ramen noodles number two. Gagawa kami ng soup. Okay, for the second recipe, milk yung gagamitin natin instead of hot water later. And you'll be super surprised na masarap siya. In Korea, di ba super uso ng cheese ramen? Yeah, I get it. Dami nila kinakain with cheese like they eat cheese ramen, chicken with cheese, Korean barbecue with cheese. So for sure, this is really gonna be good. Shin ramen, of course. Spring onion, optional and chili, and brown sugar. And lastly, Kimchi! Who doesn't like kimchi? Anyway, we will start boiling the noodles with hot water first. Kasi nakita namin online, if you boil this with hot milk right away, super nakakreate siya ng bubbles tapos nag-overflow siya. So, we'll cook the ramen partly in boiling water and then transfer it into the milk soup. Again, we're using the pan muna kasi the other pan will be used for the milk. Tip lang, when you're measuring yung sabaw nyo for your noodles, it's best to use the bowl that you'll be using to serve. Para alam mo kung gano'ng karaming tubig, di ba? Oh, tip. Ayos ba yun? Hindi ko alam yun. Nashock ako sa sinabi mo. But it makes so much sense. We're just gonna boil this one until it's 90% cooked. Don't cook it 100% kasi we have to remember that we're still gonna boil it again with the milk. With the milk. milk. So I'm measuring it here. Usually, ang palatandaan namin is yung line. Pero baka sobrang dami niya. So, a little bit. Mag-evaporate naman siya ah. when you boil it. So, kukonti pa rin siya. And then, we can already start boiling the milk para ready na din sabay with the noodles. So, now we can start putting the powder sa milk. That way, the longer it boils with the milk, the tastier it gets. So, yeah. so you add the veggies there and then we'll drain everything after. And one tip, don't use non-fat or low-fat milk. Whole milk is the best when making this. Hi, you said it's double chin. Mo. Ay, ko na lang Ay, hug! No! No! no. Lika na! I knocked out when I was trying to do it. Okay, this looks like it's 90% done. Turn it off, love. Now we strain the noodles. Get all the hot water out. Yeah, and now we're putting the noodles inside this pot with milk. Okay, so we already mixed in the noodles with the soup. So we'll just add some kimchi para may extra laman yung noodles natin. And extra flavor. So right now it's very rich because of the milk and uh, very spicy because of the powder nga ng shin ramen but this would add like a bit of sa sourness to the dish para mag balance out siya looks so rich and creamy taste make sure to taste it oh oh my god excited ako! Another thing for me, when, especially when I cook, 
I like balancing out flavors because it's more pleasing to the palate. So for this one, you'll already have our sourness from the kimchi, the richness from the milk, and the spiciness from the powder. We'll just add a little bit of brown sugar para lang mag balance out the taste. For me, like it will add another level of flavor to the dish. Na happy si chef. Yes, sir. <laughs> so now that's done. You can already transfer it to the bowl. Experimentation. I'm so excited to try it. Intentionally, hindi ko tinray kanina yung sabaw kasi gusto kong magulat. Oh wow! Masarap siya. Masarap siya. Lalagyan pa ng kimchi. I love the soup. I feel like hindi na siya instant noodles to be honest. When you taste the soup. It's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. We added sugar kanina, pero hindi mo siya malala sa ahad na matamis. Hindi siya matamis at all. Pero ibalasa niya, pagwala. Promise. I also have a question. If people don't have kimchi at home, what can they put? Tomatoes would be a good way to add sourness to your dishes. You boil the tomatoes in the milk also. Even if you boil the tomatoes, I suggest maglagay pa rin kayo ng veggie. Kasi ang sarap ng crunch na with the noodles. It's a good combo. It's so good. I'm try it. Try it with the noodles. You'll be so surprised how well milk goes with the ramen. Yeah, like if you're a fan of like mga cheese ramen, yeah. The richness of the milk since dairy product din siya, it really lends itself well to the spiciness of like instant ramen. Again, it's all about elevating and adding. Uh, veggies. Like what he said, kanina, spam cubes spam, or like any. Like you can add anything. Like you can add seasoning, na like whatever you feel like adding. You start with the base, which is the ramyun, and you play around with it depending on like how you like the taste. You want sweetness, then look for like ingredients that introduce sweetness to the dish, like sugar. If you want sourness, you add kimchi or like tomatoes. Super serap ng kimchi. So find that balance. So, hindi lang siya puro milk, hindi lang siya puro richness, para hindi din siya nakakasawa kalimit. And uh, those are two ways on how you can cook your Shin Ramyun. Super good. One is the saucy one. Saucy. <laughs> one is the soup. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, if you're gonna do it at home, don't forget to tag me on your socials. I've been getting a lot of really good responses from our Korean fried chicken and our mojos. And I hope you guys like this one also. If you do, you know what to do. Please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe for now. Bye! Bye.